Okay guys, now we're at the stage where we need to find out how we can view Instagram on our computer. <clears throat> the reason for that is it gets a bit tricky when you're doing everything from your mobile phone with your hands. The screen's a little bit smaller and it's a lot easier just to take control if you had it on your computer or Mac. Luckily there's a lot of software out there which we can download onto our PC or Mac so we can view Instagram as if it was a mobile app direct on our computer. There are a few options out there which kind of mirrors what's on our screen onto our computer. These include mobizen.com and airdroid.com. Please note I am talking from an Android point of view here. I don't have a iPhone, so these are the kind of things I've been using, but there are a lot of other things you can use if you are an iPhone user. I know, for example, uh, bluestacks.com. That is another similar app which you can download and you can view your your iPhone or your Android onto your PC, I believe. Um, but if you just search, generally search mirror um, iPhone onto your computer or Mac, you're going to find a lot of solutions out there. Um, there's also another another thing which I quite like, which I found recently, which I found a lot easier is uh, something called ARC or App Runtime for Chrome which is a tool that allows you to run many Android up apps right from your desktop and for the most part the apps look and function like they do on an Android phone or tablet now that's one of my main tools that I've been using but I'm just going to look at the other tools just to show you an example of what we can do with these here I'm on mobizen.com it's m-o-b-i-z-e-n.com I'm just going to log right in here as it knows me. Or actually, it's actually saying that it works better in Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put it up in Chrome. I forgot I've got it I've got it ready in Chrome, and I'm just going to tap in my details right here. Connect, and what's going to happen is it's going to come up with a page that's going to ask me through to input a two-step verification code on my mobile phone. So I've got my mobile phone in my hand and I'm just scrolling to the Mobizen app right now and I'm going to tap in the code and when I tap that in it should my mobile phone should appear on the screen. As you can see that's now connected. <clears throat> Let's see what happens and here we are that is my mobile telephone device right there as you can see it looks like a regular phone if I click that we are now there and as you can see I'm scrolling on my mobile phone just as you would on a regular phone and to be honest with you I really like this uh, what you can do with this because you you can use Instagram direct from this. Um, I'm just going to click on a couple of apps to show you. This is just a news app that I use in the UK. Um, as you can see, it's pretty pretty cool. You can even go full screen to make it bigger, which makes things a hell of a lot easier. Okay. So that's just one example, and this is one app I would highly recommend that you actually um, you use. It's a complete web app. You haven't got to download anything, except for you've got to download it from the store on your phone, okay? Uh, but it's free, so that's pretty cool. If I shoot back to Firefox here, we've also got AirDroid. It does a similar thing, but some of the features are slightly limited, um, so I prefer Mobizen. Again, like I explained to you, you've got blue stacks. I found it a little buggy. Um, it will launch. It will launch Instagram from your computers as a standalone app. If you can get it to work correctly, it's fantastic. But it isn't my favourite. However, a similar piece of software which I do kind of like is called Arc Welder. It's an add-on for Google Chrome browser, which again allows us to use mobile phone apps on the computer as standalone apps and it's very very useful and it's something I've been using to run my Instagram stuff through various accounts now 
I'm just going to go through the steps to to download this for you right now because I enjoyed using it again. You can use uh, Mobizen as I previously pre I look, previously said. Look at that, that's fantastic. I can turn the screen on right from my computer. Okay. Now let's just go through the steps to download our welder, and I'll show you how fantastic this is now. I'm just going to copy this URL of this page I'm on right now. It's a blog page, and I'm going to put it into a new tab on Chrome because we need to do it directly from Chrome, okay? So, first we need to download, we need to add the Arc World app to Google Chrome. So, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click Add to Chrome. Let's check in Add. And it says Arc World has been added to the new Chrome app launcher. As you can see down here, it's downloading. Now I'm just going to go back to that page that I spoke about before. What we have to do now is we have to download the Android app APK. Okay. Basically, what that means we need to download the Instagram installation file. Now, these are all the app files for all the apps you can get on your your phone. Um, Instagram should be at the top here somewhere because it's one of the most popular apps, as we all know. I'm just going to search for actually because I really can't be bothered to uh, scroll down too far. Spell that wrong, Instagram search. And here we are, we've got the file, the latest file there, the 17th of April. Just gonna click download there. And I should get the option to download it somewhere. You wanna click this blue button here, you don't wanna get the Google, you don't wanna get it on Google Play, you wanna click the blue, blue button there. And as you can see again, that is downloading there. Two minutes left. I'm not too sure how long that Arc Welder is going to take, but let's just have a look and see how long, how big the file said it was. I can't remember because I'm doing this from a different computer now for to explain to you fresh. Um, that is. Uh, Right, right. Um, hmm, interesting that. Um, <clears throat> let's just have a look. Where are we? Right, so we've got the Instagram AP key downloading. We've got the other file downloading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and come back when they are downloaded. Okay, guys, now we've got the Arc Welder add-on downloaded now to uh, Chrome and we've got our installation file of Instagram download to our hard drive so what you're going to get is when you download this Arc Welder it's going to also download a Chrome app launcher okay and you're going to see Arc Welder automatically there we're going to click on that okay well, then we're going to click choose and we're going to scroll to downloads and we're going to add a we're going to add the apk that we previously downloaded that instagram file and it's going to come up with some options here for what we need to do before we actually download the full version of this app. Okay, so <clears throat> do we want a landscape or portrait? Do we want it tablet or phone? Um, clipboard access, yes. We probably, for this instance, we probably want a tablet version because on a phone, you know, the phone looks a little bit smaller, so, but we can do exactly the same thing on a tablet and a phone. Do we want it landscape or portrait? Personally, I prefer to look at things portrait. So I'm going to set up the portrait and tablet. Then we need to click download zip. OK, 
okay? Download the zip file and let's just chuck it in the downloads of our hard drive. Now, what we have to do here, step six is telling us we need to open the directory from step three and extract the package zip file. So we need to click download. <clears throat> this is basically gonna download the zip file for Instagram, which we need. We've got portrait, tablet, and we wanna chuck in documents. That is where I um, set up this, this program. Okay. All oh, right. So now, yeah, we need to go to the directory, which is the documents, and we need to we need to unzip this file, right? Right, I've now extracted that and it should be in the folder. Now in Google Chrome, click on Window. Extensions. And make sure developer mode is ticked. Click load unpacked extension. Then we need to select the folder that we had Instagram in. And as you can see, it's there now. Open Launchpad and click on the app. So I'm now going to click on Launchpad. And that is the app there. It didn't have an icon for some reason, but it, that is it there. As you can see, it's loading up as like a standalone app. And as you can see here, we can sign up or log in. So generally, I use Mobizen or I use this app here. I use a mixture of two because certain things are better to do on this app. Um, if you don't want to use your phone uh, or, or the battery is down, you can use it pretty much from here. But there's a few limitations on this, um, like the ability to tap in certain uh, em emojis and stuff. I'll get to that in the um, I will get to them in the next video. So I know that was a little bit long-winded, guys, but I hope that's explained how you can do exactly how you can do all this from your computer. Okay and it's better than doing it by hand. So I'll see you on the next video when I actually dive into Instagram, we talk about um, your profile and such what.